Hello everyone. I have read the Bible and I don't claim I know everything of it, but I know some things. And as I read, as it seems, I am, I guess I can say, I notice God's character, or should I say the Lord's character. Some people may say that he is a tyrant or he is, what is that word? Like, he is, uh, what do they say? Like, tyrant or like, whatever. But if you made something, don't you want control over it? Like who makes something and doesn't want control of, over it? Like, would you take time into creating something and like, and you don't want like any rights to it or any type of control to it. Like if I made <laughs> a heater, I want that heater to operate correctly, right? Like why would you put time into something and don't want it to operate in the way you intend. Right? I hope this makes sense. Let me tell you some reasons why I like living for God. Safety. I believe there is so much safety when you live for Jesus Christ. Like, I think, I believe God has saved me from so many vehicle accidents. So many, I believe. Like, there are things we see and there are things we may not see. So, imagine how many things God is protecting us from. And let me say this too, and I like serving God because of spiritual safety too. I don't have to go to hell. And you may say, well, you know, God should not send anyone to hell. Well, pretty much what I said before, God made you. So you have to operate in the way he wants. So can we defeat God? No. Can we overthrow God? No. Can we recreate or create ourselves and make our own world? No. So if we can't do those things, then we have to serve God, right? So safety and spiritual safety. Help. There are so many times, <laughs> there, 
There are so many times when I need help. So many times when I get into issues. And much of the time, I don't know what to do. I really, some of the time, I really don't know what to do. So much of the time, I would say, I pray to God for help, understanding. Help me to understand or help me in this area or do this or do that. I ask for help. See, and some people may see that as a small thing. I think one of the reasons why some people may worry so much is probably because they don't really depend on God. I think one of the reasons why some people have depression probably is because of their lack of dependence on God. Like, Sometimes I may worry, but it is like a huge burden off my shoulders when I can like ask God for help and have faith in him that when I ask him, I am going to answer. I mean, Am I saying that right? No. I believe it is a huge burden off my shoulders to be able to depend on God. Sometimes I may worry, yes. But like, I think a lot of stress, I think a lot of stress can come on a person if they worry too much or if they try like if they try to figure out something on their own and if what they are trying to figure out I guess is out of reach that may place so much stress on a person I would say much of the time I give my problems to God. I ask him for help. And that there is, I think, huge. I believe much of the time that keeps me stress free. Or stress less. <laughs> like less of stress which is huge like I don't have to I don't have to be able to figure out every single problem I have I don't have to have all the answers like this I can pray and ask God for help and try to take my mind off of it. Like that there is huge. I am telling you. I don't have to stay worrying all day and all night because I am, how can I say this? I am not depending solely on me. I am depending on God. I hope this makes sense. Because I can't figure out everything in my life. I can't. I am not so smart to where I can connect all the dots 
if you understand what I mean by that. So I go to God. And that takes so much stress off of me. I am telling you, that takes so much worry off of me, even though I may stress some and I may worry some. I am telling you, God is a very caring and loving God. You may believe that God is looking down upon you, seeing you as insignificant, and I think that is so wrong. I believe God really does care about what we are going through. I am telling you. He is a loving God. He is a compassionate God. He really is. He has feelings. If you read the Bible, the Lord has feelings. He sure does. So, I serve God for these reasons and probably plus more. Let me stop here. God bless you.